Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. PETG is said to be as easy to print as PLA and as strong and durable as ABS. Let's figure out how to print this it. After ordering two spools of different PETG and wanting to print with them, I realized that there is barely any good advice out there. And exactly this is what I want to share with you guys right now. But theory first. PETG stands for polyethylene terephthalate, which is the material we all know well from the plastic bottles. The G stands for the added glycol, which removes heating weaknesses and makes the material softer and therefore easier to print. For 3D printing, the named material is best printed between 230 and 250 degrees Celsius, which is pretty similar to ABS. Be careful when you have a PTFE inlined extruder though, because then you shouldn't really go over 240 degrees Celsius. But in contrast to ABS, the build plate doesn't need to reach 100 degrees Celsius to prevent warping. PETG works well at 70 degrees, with warping being no problem at all. I didn't manage to get it stick to a cold bed though. Using the hidden initial build plate temperature feature of the latest Cura beta version, I use 70 degrees here to avoid waiting hours for the print to start and after the first layer I shut it off completely or actually lower the temperature to 50 degrees celsius because of a bug. PETG sticks to the bed really well in either case. The material we put today's focus on also needs to be cooled down right out of the extruder. For this I use the parts cooling fan but only at 50% to avoid that the temperature goes lower than 230 degrees. It works out quite well. Following some advice to lower the extrusion multiplier to 95% to achieve a better surface didn't bring any improvement for me. But the retraction settings did and are definitely a good way to start with. Currently I use 4mm retraction distance with a speed of 50mm per second. Another big advantage for using PETG is that it's odorless and not poisonous when printing, similar to PLA. From the price point is PETG only a little bit more expensive than PLA here in Austria with about 20 to 25 euros per 1 kg spool, open end of course. When using PETG pads outside, they should be coated with some UV resistant coating. Concludingly, from my own experience, PETG is definitely worth trying out. And from today's point of view, I'm not even sure whether I should try ABS. I hope you guys found this interesting and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you guys for watching and check back as I have more coming. See ya!